sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can't hurt me. That's one of the one of the phrases you'd hear as a kid. You know, you'd hear it from your kindergarten teacher and your first grade teacher and just elementary school in general. You'd hear things like that. Like, you know, people can say a lot of things, but ultimately they can't really hurt you. But in truth, what we've what we've come to acknowledge and admit in the past 10 years as a society on a on a mainstream level is yeah, those words can really hurt. And and really it's always been a, a point of fact that uh, we've always known that words can hurt. And that brings the topic of today. What do you do when you're in a conversation uh, or disagreement with someone and they're throwing some of those hurtful words at you? Uh, and, and the answer to that is, is it's not clear cut and dry. It's not, there's not a good, uh, easy solution to any situation uh, when there is a confrontation that is verbal uh, because it could be with uh, with a friend or a family member and you don't want to step on their toes and say well hey you're wrong for saying this but at the same time you want to stand your ground and and not get treaded over um, and I think the solution obviously it's going to vary situation to situation but the kind of broad idea here is that always stand your ground always stand up for what you believe in and what you feel are truths to yourself and to the world and are just evident unto yourself and try to get that point across to the person you're talking to as best you can, as politely as you can. But when they attack your character, when they uh, come for your person, um, and when they just won't see reason in general, that's when you have to kind of put a, a time out on the situation and the conversation, just say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back out of this because you, you, the most you can do is you say your points, you say what you believe in, you give reasons as to why you believe that, you give fact and, and you know, allegory and just a number of other, you just, just instances to support your claim and uh, you, you try to prove your argument to them. And hopefully you can have a nuanced conversation where both of you break down the fundamental disagreements and say, here's where I feel like you were wrong. And here's where I feel like I'm wrong and just go back and forth and try and find a middle ground. You know, that's the best, the best solution. That's the, the optimal solution that you can all, that you can ever get. That, that's the best thing and that you should always hope for. But oftentimes you're going to be encountered with a person that is unwieldy in their beliefs and will try to belittle your own and will try to uh, point out certain things in your own personage in a personage per, a personage um, or, or just in the, the means that you just basic little little points that are interpersonal to you that have no pertinence to the conversation at hand, no pertinence to the discussion and the ideas being shared. It's just they will they will come after you because they feel like they don't have a strong enough argument because they feel like uh, they're superior to you and they want to they want to they want to belittle you they want you to feel like the intellectual inferior to them and when you encounter those people there's no winning with them you know if you you'll, you'll be if you try to argue with them and you try to say oh well you know you're how, how would you just go away you know you're wrong you're this you're that and then you start attacking them then they feel like oh well I, I have the moral upper ground now look at them see they're just what I thought they were and that doesn't accomplish anything that doesn't win anything um, I think a great example of uh, keeping a keeping your head high and walking with purpose and good intention is uh, it, it's been seen in some of the in the, in the marches in uh, Knoxville. So I've been I've been in two marches here in Knoxville in support of Black Lives Matter, um, and uh, one of them was uh, for George Floyd, and the other one was a was a campus wide uh, uh, march that was put on and uh, led by uh, uh, members in uh, UT Athletics and a number of other prominent UT uh, affiliates. And um, in both of those marches, the message was always stand by the movement, uh, support the movement with, with positivity and good intentions and uh, stand by the base values, but never stoop to the level 
of the, the people who are yelling uh, epithets and racial slurs because if you stoop to their level, then no one wins. And I think taking that down to a, to a lesser extent when you're just having a conversation with someone about, I don't know, cereal, <laughs> and you're talking about cereal, and say the person you're talking to is a big fan of Rice Krispies. Because it's just like, you know, you can make Rice Krispie treats. You can, you can hear the snap, crackle, pop. What other cereal does that? And they're just vehemently in, in opposition to anything that you, that you give. You say, well, I like live cereal. Well, that's, live cereal's terrible. And then they start attacking your person. You know, obviously this is hyperbole, but just as an example, if you're in this situation and you, you give the benefits of life cereal to you, why you like life cereal, what you think is positive about it, what some of the, the basis for your belief is, and, the, and support your, your, your supposition and just keep going with it, but they keep attacking you, they keep lambasting you. The, all you can do at that point is just say, okay, I can't win, I can't, I can't get through to you, we're not gonna find a middle ground, uh, we, have, we have philosophical differences, perhaps not in this subject matter, but in how we broach conversation. And when you get to those people, you'll know it. You know, We all have family members that'll uh, say, read something that you write or something that you, that you post in a video and they want to uh, give their own two cents and they want to uh, uh, come at you with their own indoctrinated beliefs and, and, and try to belittle you and say, this is what I think and you need to think it as well. And friends do that as well. But when, when that happens, all you can do is just give your, your support and your basis for your argument and your reasoning and just move on from there because there's no winning with those people. And it's unfortunate that, that that's the case oftentimes, but it seems like nuanced conversation uh, has gone out the window in a number of cases and a number of topics. And uh, hopefully we never reach that point with cereal, <laughs> like the example I gave, but um, really all you can do is just keep a keep a positive attitude and support what you believe in and stand up for the ideologies that you you find to be close to your heart and if you get into a conversation about those topics relay how you feel about those topics uh relay your ideologies your basis for the ideologies and then conversate never be dismissive of someone's beliefs try and reason with them and see why they think that way. And sometimes, a lot of the time actually, you alter your own opinion when you conversate with those people because you say, I never really thought of it that way. And the key to everything is empathy. And um, all we can do is just try and refrain from uh, using that phrase, sticks and stones break my bones, but words can't hurt me to justify uh, uh, malintent through words, saying horrible things to friends and family because we think, well, you know, there's no effect on that. When you when you say something that's dismissive, or or belittling or hurtful like that, you can you can you can it can be detrimental to a person's uh, to a person's uh, soul, <laughs> for for lack of a of a better terminology. You can really hurt someone with that, and to avoid that, you should just. Be the best person you can. And I think the people that go after uh, individuals instead of their arguments uh, when discussing something in conversation, I think that shows their character more than anything. And really, you just have to, you just have to work through that. And when you encounter those people that, that attack your personage, personage, I have trouble with that word. <laughs> um, all you have to do is just say, look, I can't do this and walk away because Unfortunately, that's how it is sometimes.